What's up, everybody? Jake here with a movie review. Now, uh, I have talked about this on the podcast, uh, and I wanted it to go further in depth. And quite honestly, I don't think Tyler has Paramount Plus, and I don't know when he's going to watch it. Just saying. So today, we're talking about a movie that completely caught me off guard. Might be one of my favorite movies of the year. Might be one of the funniest movies of the year. Beavis and Butthead do America. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead do the universe. I was thinking of... I'm comparing the movies, and my bad. But anyway, uh, growing up, I used to watch Beavis and Butthead a lot. Uh, that was something that everybody in my family enjoyed. And I, I, thankfully, I wasn't in those families that like thought it was evil or bad because it was this really silly, crude comedy. And that's the thing, too, about Beavis and Butthead. When you compare it to things like Family Guy and American Dad and like shows on Adult Swim, like Rick and Morty and stuff like that, South Park, it's incredibly tame compared to those. It's still crass and crude, but it's not nearly to the level of those. So I always thought that was funny when uh, uh, p- parents would get upset about that. But, but anyway, regardless, I'm getting off topic. Oh, it's like the channel show. Uh, channel name. I wanted to talk about Beavis and Butthead uh, Do the Universe because it really is, to me, a surprising movie in a sense that I had no idea going in what I what I was going to get out of this cuz I had low expectations because while I love the show I hadn't seen every episode you know I'm not one you know somebody that's seen everything uh, but I really liked the show I love Beavis and Bedhead to America it's if I had to make like a list of top 25 favorite movies it's got to be in the list somewhere and I think a lot of that too is just when I watched I was I was a 90s kid I was a 90s baby so I saw it at a young age and enjoyed it. And then going back at an older age, I still enjoyed it and had so much fun with it. But then I'm also thinking, does Beavis and Butthead work in 2022? Are we just going to rely on the nostalgia of the show and the movies and everything? And it's amazing how funny this movie really is. And again, I came in with super low expectations. I watched it on a whim one night. I kept telling myself, well, I still have Paramount+. Plus." Halo is a disappointment. I should get rid of Paramount Plus, but I keep forgetting to do it. And then I was like, oh, there's a Beavis and Butthead movie. I'll watch that. And I didn't know what to expect because this movie went straight to streaming. And I'm not trying to talk down to streaming in any way. I think it's great that we have original movies and TV shows come to these platforms. I, I do think it's good. And and um, I don't know if this movie would have survived a theatrical run. I think it would have made some money. But given the climate, uh, especially being like two weeks out from, it, it literally came out a week after Lightyear. It also uh, would, it would be competing with Minions because the Minions came out a week after that. And then you have uh, Thor that came out a couple weeks after it. So I don't think it would have worked in a theatrical run. So I think streaming was the right choice. And dude, I, 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 I laughed so, oh geez, I bumped the table. I laughed so much at this show, uh, this movie. And it, I think what makes it work is this show and, and do America and this movie, they have the ability to just say, this is not what it's, this isn't high art. This is two idiots doing stupid things and they get lucky because things just happen around them. And that is what it makes this so amazing. In a world where we have so many comedies now that, and don't get me wrong, I think that it's good that we have this diversity in comedy, but we do have so many comedies now that have this extra layer of either cynicism or, uh, you know, mental health or, you know, some other thing. And again, there's nothing wrong with them. But it is refreshing to have something like Beavis and Butthead do the universe. That is something that says, no, this is just a silly, dumb comedy. And you could, you know, you could say that you want something else out of your comedy, and that's totally fine. I think that's valid. But I love that this is a movie that I could put on and not have any other thing of being like, let's just watch these two doofuses do really dumb stuff. And it's it I would also compare it to like but Jackass Forever, another movie on Paramount Plus, I would compare it to that, like where I love Jackass Forever and I laughed really hard at it because it's just idiots being idiots. And again, it sounds so I don't know reductive, but that's just what it is. That's what makes it great. And I, I've had I had so much fun with it. Uh, another thing that I love about this movie, it is unabashedly the same movie 
It is literally the same thing as Do America. They just made it have a sequence in space. And spoilers, they don't really go through time. All that happens, they find a wormhole in space that sends them from 1998 to now, to 2022. And that's how they advance them uh, in, in our modern times without actually making them get older. And I think that is what's so genius about Beavis and Butthead and this movie. Because normally... You have character development. You have growth. You have characters that learn things, and, and the journey changes them. It makes them better. Not with these two, because things just happen around them, and they don't have to solve any problems. The problems get solved for them, so they continue to be idiots throughout the movie, and they don't learn anything, and that's what's kind of amazing about this movie and what's so genius about Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I saw an interview recently that Mike Judge did because this movie was like... I would like to, and this is animation, so this was already planned out ahead, but I feel like they released this movie as like a test to see if people still had interest in it on Paramount Plus and then said, okay, now let's make a revival. I know that's not true. I knew as soon as Paramount Plus was announced, they had plans to revive Beavis and Butthead. I know that, but it, it almost seems like that's what Paramount Plus was doing because now after the movie's been out, people have had a positive reaction to it. We know there's going to be revival to the show. And in an interview about that, Mike just said it's harder to write than you think because we have to write characters that are really stupid and don't grow and don't change because it's almost like against everything you're taught as a writer or anything creative where you you know you have the three act structure, you have the character growth, the hero's journey, all that, you know, all that. And it doesn't really matter to these characters and that's kind of amazing. And this sh- this it acts like it's broad scopes, but it's not and I think, and it's super short. This movie's 85 minutes long. Like, it's it's a breeze to watch. And there's some things that are just so stupid that you would be like, should I laugh at this? And then you're, like, in tears. Um, I mean, the first scene is, one of the, they're at a science fair, and Beavis and Butthead's science project is Butthead is trying to kick Beavis in the nuts and see how many times it takes him to kick him in the nuts before he passes out. Like, but I'm laughing. You know what I mean? And 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 the the payoff to that joke is great. And don't don't let my review deter you of how good the writing is cuz I think the writing in this is really great because they do such an amazing job of bringing in modern issues. And again, any other movie, any other property that would have these kind of issues and these kind of levels of uh, uh, of ideas, they would be forced to address it and, and and kind of deal with the messaging of it and and have a story where these characters understand things. Not in this movie. We talk about white privilege. We talk about prison reform. We talk about uh, so many things that, again, any other movie would be a big deal and be a focal point. This doesn't because we have two idiots that don't care. They just don't care. And that's what's They just want to get laid. That's it. That's all they, that's their whole purpose in life is to get laid. And so when all these things happen around them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I think. Again, that's what makes this movie so funny and refreshing. And I'm ex- I I never thought I'd say this, but I'm excited to see the the Beavis and Butthead revival on Paramount Plus. And shit, they got me. I'm probably gonna say subscribed or at least re up my subscription to watch the show when it comes out next month. It's just the facts. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where else to go with this review. It's kind of scattershot. I didn't want to really have spoilers because I don't want to ruin some of the best bits and jokes because I think you should watch it. It's 85 minutes. It's such a short, quick movie that you can enjoy it. And um, I, that's another thing, too. I love how short it is. It's it, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It knows what its audience wants. It gets to the jokes. It gets to the bits. And it also finds fun ways to incorporate the catchphrases and the things that we, you know, the boing and the, like, you know, things like that. And like, you know, yeah, cool, fire, you know. Uh, there's a sequence with Cornholio, which Cornholio, you would think, would not be a character that would work now. And people would be like, this is so dumb and whatever. But how they utilize Cornholio actually is really damn funny. And it works really well in the movie. I can't gush enough about how much I love Beavis and Butthead and uh, Do the Universe. Have you seen Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you loved it, you hate it. I don't care. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that they, they tell you to say at the end of YouTube videos. You know, uh, But yes, please do like, in, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, and go see the movie. I, look, get a Paramount Plus uh, like one-month free trial and just 
sit back and enjoy it. Or do what I do. Do the cheapest option you can. I think I only pay like five bucks because I don't give a shit about ads. I still want my, my money back for Halo. But I guess Beavis and Butthead did something, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, hope you uh, enjoy Beavis and Butthead as much as I did. Boing.